Question time. If you're an EV owner, what's the one thing everybody asks you the first time you find out you drive an electric car? So, uh, how far does it go? Right? It's the first question everyone asks. If I had a pound every time someone asked me that, I'd be a rich man. In fact, I'd be so rich I could afford a brand new Lucid Air. That is the new Range King. Well, it recently hit 500 miles on a highway range test. That's 800 kilometers. But what about cars that go 1,000 kilometers? Could the Lucid go that far if you were driving slowly? There's a thought. Today, we're looking at range and what elements influence range of an EV. And finally, we'll ask who will be the first to hit a thousand kilometers of range. Welcome to the channel. My name is Martin Lee. And if you like what we do here, hit subscribe and the bell icon so you never miss a show. Okay, let's take a quick moment to look at some of the best and worst ranges out there. And we'll start off with, let's go the lower end. Something like the Dacia Spring, Europe's cheapest new EV comes to mind. 27 kilowatt hour battery, real world range, 110 miles. But it's so cheap, you kind of excuse it for that. A much more expensive car is something like the Mazda MX-30, usable 30 kilowatt hour battery, and yet 110 miles, 100 EPA range in the States. That's twice the price of the Dacia and it goes the same distance. Even if you're willing to spend a lot more money, it doesn't necessarily guarantee you good range. I mean, take the all new Hummer. It's got a battery that weighs more than many small cars. It's huge. The battery is over 200 kilowatt hours. So does it give you mind blowing range? Well, not really because the vehicle's so big and heavy. Maybe 300 miles, we'll see when those vehicles are finally in the hands of customers. Even the likes of the Mercedes-Benz EQC, pretty inefficient vehicle. It may look good and be extremely comfortable, but if you get more than 250 miles of range out of it, you'll be doing well. But some EVs can do really well and they push the boundaries of what we thought was even possible five or ten years ago. Take a look at something like, well, the legendary Hyundai Kona. Usable 64 kilowatt hour battery, but some owners nurse it around and will get easily 400 miles or more out of that vehicle. Even cheaper, the MG5 long range. That's 300 miles in good conditions from just a 57 kilowatt hour usable battery. And of course, in the middle of range is a car like the Model 3 long range from Tesla. Now, Blake from this channel took it out on a 500 mile day trip recently and was reminded, he was blown away by how efficient Teslas are. The latest variant will comfortably do 300 miles and you got a gentle right foot, you'll head towards 400 miles. In years past, we would have jumped straight to the Model S and said, that's the range king. But no, we have a new king in town, the Lucid Air usable battery over 100 kilowatt hours just over it'll easily do 400 miles on a charge now recently u.s journalist tom logney took it out at a constant 70 miles an hour and of course speed is the enemy of evs because of wind resistance but highway range test got 500 miles in the real world at a constant speed out of that car that's amazing So, why is it there's such a variation in ranges? Why do some cars go farther on a similar sized battery than others? Let's look at some of the factors that impact range and go back to our original question. Tires and wheels are hugely important when it comes to range. Just jump onto the configurator for like a Tesla Model 3, for instance. And as you choose between the different wheel sizes, you can literally see the range going up and down. So in general, you want smaller wheels for better range. The tires you fit will also impact the range. In general, EVs come with tires that are specifically designed to maximize efficiency. The tread pattern and the weight, as well as the width and depth and material compound are all factors. Look at the BMW i3 coming on skinny little tires to maximize the range. Now we've made a full video about EV tires in the past, so go check that out if you're interested. Aerodynamics play a huge role in determining how much range you'll get. And it's even more of a factor at higher speeds when you're really hitting the air with force. The more slippery the car, the less power it uses, the more range it gets. And we love to see manufacturers really focusing on this lately. It's easy to put a massive heavy battery into any vehicle and get loads of range, but that's not what we want to see. We want to see better efficiency, doing more with less. 
The king of aerodynamics on production car level has been things like the Hyundai Arnique, the original one, which many of its owners nicknamed the Wind Knife. But going back a few decades, the EV1 set the early benchmark for aerodynamics. What a pity that car met the end that it did. Recently, Mercedes sit at the top of the table, the sleek EQS boasting a drag coefficient of just 0 0.20, the lowest of any production car, beating everything else apart from well, the EQE. It's just a car coming in at the same. Batteries are far and away the biggest factors when it comes to range, because the more energy you can store in the battery, the more range you can get out of the car. But as I've alluded to already, there's more to it than that. Not all batteries are created equal. Their design is constantly changing. Different cell sizes, chemistries and so on. Some are more energy dense than others. Some work better in higher and lower temperatures. But either way, batteries are heavy and they take up the significant portion of the weight of any electric vehicle. So the more batteries you stuff into the car, the heavier the car is and the less efficient it'll be. There is a trade-off there, with many manufacturers trying to balance the cost and efficiency with the benefit of added range. So are there cars coming down the line that'll hit a thousand kilometers? In a sense, you could argue they're already here. Some people have altered existing cars, they've added more batteries to the boot. A couple of years ago, Hyundai got their Kona to do a thousand and twenty-six kilometers on a single charge, but these are exceptional circumstances in controlled, hyper-miling conditions. What we're asking about is a car that'll travel a thousand kilometers in real-world driving. Something like the Neo ET7 is coming this year. That's got 150 kilowatt hour battery pack and they say it'll do a thousand kilometers but on the chinese measurements of range that's often very optimistic we'll have to wait and see what that car really does in the real world the mercedes-benz eqxx is setting itself up to be one of the first production cars to achieve that magic 1000 number eq x focuses on efficiency rather than battery size they're planning on a 95 percent efficiency which is an incredible number for an ev the design is aerodynamic and the drag coefficient is just 0.17 and the manner in which they've designed the battery means it'll be smaller and lighter than previous EVs for the same amount of stored energy. They're talking about a thousand kilometers from a hundred kilowatt hour battery. Tesla would have been an obvious choice for who will make a car that will go that magic distance, but Elon Musk recently said they could have easily have made a car to do 600 miles of range, but it would have made the product worse. Some people saying, hang on a minute, isn't that meant to be the range of the new roads to coming? We'll wait and see. The Lightyear One is now available to pre-order, and it'll be interesting to see how they fare when the car is in customers' hands. The car will likely travel over 500 miles on a charge in favorable conditions from a 60 kilowatt hour battery, of course, the vehicle covered in solar panels. Only time will tell if we see a production car that can do this, but in the meantime, we hope that we can get a lot more chargers that deliver energy quickly. If we have the right chargers in the right places at the right charge speeds, Maybe the whole conversation around a thousand kilometers of range becomes moot. Hey, I'd love to hear from you. If you're watching this channel right now, what do you think about the idea of long range EVs? Bigger batteries, more range, or would you like to see more efficiency, smaller batteries, more real world range, and lighter cars? Who can you see making the first EV that'll go a thousand kilometers in the real world? Or maybe you think it's unnecessary and we need better chargers being more widespread to top up more frequently. Hey, like and subscribe so you never miss a show and join us on Instagram. We are at best underscore electric vehicle and on Facebook, a new group called Best Electric Vehicle. We'll catch you in there and I'll see you on the next one.